Now that you have your uh, graffiti throwing name all um, outlined in Sharpie, I'm going to go ahead and go in with our markers and add color. And then you need five, 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 five color minimum. Okay, five color minimum. And so as you do it, don't just simply choose a color for each one of these, right? I've got five letters. Oh, I don't want to say that I'm just going to do fill these in with one different color. They all have to be uh, some kind of a color scheme like throughout the whole thing. So maybe I'll start with blue. Now, so that means I have to figure out like how I'm going to put multiple colors on uh, each letter, okay? So I might do, maybe I'll do some like drip things going on, like a little donut or something. Okay, so maybe I've got that, and then I'm going to just kind of fill in the top part. Now, when you're filling them in, okay, so just take the marker, it's uh, like a paint tool, and I'm just going to pull and overlap slightly my color all in one direction so it's nice and clean. Okay, don't go back and forth. If you go back and forth, you can see that like it layers and you've got all kinds of stuff going on here. So we want it to be a nice even color because we're trying to replicate what spray paint would do. Okay, so I can do my A. And it doesn't take a long time to do this this way, but there's the color is more even throughout your lettering. So, okay, so there's like one color. And I do that all the way across. And let's see, maybe I'm gonna have, let's see, I'll do some light green. You can also use the, the this narrow, more narrow tip markers to get into some of these little areas here. So maybe I'm gonna have, well, who knows, maybe I'll do some kind of like jagged thing. So I'll, Fill it in this way. If your markers are running out, just let me know and I can get some new ones. Make sure the markers stay in the boxes. If they're not being used, best to put the cap on the end so we don't lose it. And markers do not leave our hands and sail through the air across the classroom. Tools get taken away if that happens. Okay, so this one's running out a little bit. So maybe I want to do that with all my letters. Then maybe I'm going to come in with like a red. Don't have a red in this one. I'll use some orange. And maybe I'm going to on the outside do a little like outside embellishment. Okay, so that's already three colors right there. And so maybe I'm gonna do a little bit over here too. And you can layer these on top of each other too. So you can maybe say, all right, I'm gonna do some red. And, okay, maybe I wanna do some red in these little things. And so all these little accents are going to have my red. So anytime I have these little things, I'll put some red in there. And so you can see that there is a theme throughout the entire thing, okay? And I'm not sure what I would like maybe do in here, but that's already one, two, three, four, and then I could have my fifth color over here. Maybe I'll just fill this whole thing in, or I'll do something else over there, okay? So that's what you should be thinking about uh, as you use marker to add the color to your throwy name.